Alright, so we're back to the only game where the most deadly thing in the entire planet is a distinct lack of bathrooms. It's The Sims 4. The description of hell is basically a bunch of people living in one house with only one bathroom. That's how I grew up. And now I'm going to force up to 100 Sims to experience the same pain. To make things even more satanically deadly, they will live inside of this extremely godly celebrity house that makes them all very embarrassed simply by standing here. There's no better place to die in than a gigantic mansion that looked like a PBS cartoon threw up all over. Over it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our normal family of Sims and we're gonna start adding more in order to determine exactly what happens when you have 100 Sims with everything they could possibly want except for only one bathroom to use. I shouldn't say bathroom. They'll still be able to use the sink and the tub or the shower. They just won't be able to use the toilet. If I'm gonna remove all these except for one, I need to put something awesome in where the toilet used to be. That's right, instead of a toilet, every bathroom is gonna have something that's a thousand times better. It's a full liquor bar. Honestly, I wanna give them enough ways to drink themselves to death as possible. Not to death because their livers will be failing, but to death because they're going to urinate all over themselves and then slowly lose the will to keep breathing. I'm gonna let them keep the toilet paper rolls though. You Sims should be thanking me. Who wouldn't give up their toilet for a bar? Man, there's toilets hidden all over this house. I mean, now there's bars hidden all over this house. If I had to make a prediction, I would say that at around 40 Sims, everyone will start to spontaneously die. At 100, I imagine, we'll start to completely bug out the game with dead bodies that it'll refuse to work anymore. <laughs> you know what? This bathroom here is so big, you guys get two bars. Yeah, that's hot. Hold on, how about this? How about this? If you Sims can figure out how to use the cat litter box, <laughs> you can use it. Okay, this is forward thinking. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right in front of the shower. So if you want, you can lean out and grab something to drink. Okay, we're gonna put one toilet in, but it's gonna be on the roof. All right, our toilet's ready. And what the hell, I'll, I'll surround it by a couple more bars. I want my Sims to be comfortable while they're dying. Oh, holy God, I almost missed a bathroom. Would hate to do that. How do you feel there, Spleens? Spleens is like, it looks like Barbie took a bunch of speed and decided to design a house. I like how one eye is looking straight ahead and the other Whoa. eye is eyeing this snowman. Do you want to eat the snowman or urinate on the snowman? Because it looks like it's made out of cat litter. All right, all you Sims, yeah, come on inside. Go ahead and cry yourself to sleep for the night. It's only the six here right now, but we're gonna have more soon. I feel like being killed by a house that's filled with swans, fountains, and pastel is like the worst way to go. Oh, hell yeah, it's dance battle time up in here. Florida man just got the dance skill? How? Where the hell is he? The dance floor is way the hell over here. He's like chilling out in the courtyard. Oh, never mind, a bunch of people are dancing in the courtyard. What is going on? Oh no, look at these moves. This is like the first time I've ever allowed someone who wasn't my Sims into one of their houses. This guy's like, yeah, it's a lovely house, but I feel a distinct lack of dead body. Give it like 24 hours, dude. All right, all the Sims are pretty happy. Everything's doing well. Everyone's getting skills and thinking that they're not going to immediately die, which means it's time to bump up our Sim count to let's say 20. Wow, look at this group of victims. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this Sim here has the most amazing outfit I have ever seen. <laughs> He's like, yeah, before I came here, I decided to raid my nine-year-old cousin's closet. We also have someone that looks like a female Florida man. Hillary Clinton decided to show up. And there's someone with uh, booty shorts and jaundice. So yeah, we have a pretty eclectic crowd here. Now, no one should have any problems living in any other way. There's plenty of ways to sleep. There's a million beds. There's a hundred couches. There's tons of food and drink everywhere. Lots of entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, are these two people playing beer pong in a Sims game? That's really meta when my house is filled with ways to get drunk and there's people getting drunk on the television. Okay, are you ready for the most cursed image of your entire Sims life? What the hell has happened here? Poor Spleens is like, I've never been the same after the accident. What is this? What? What? What are you afraid of? Is it the TV? Is it all the bars? Oh, never mind. Her eyes are back in different directions. She's fine. She's just having a little bit of a seizure. You know what this house needs? It needs more plants. Hold on. There we go. It just needed some plants was all. Australian man and Florida man are having a fantastic conversation over here. Australian man's like, I've got an idea. While Gray is preoccupied with all the fresh meat, let's get the hell out of here. 
And Florida man is like, but there's so many bars. That's right, everyone. Come through the foyer of hell over here. Very good. There's like 12 people dancing over here. That's right. Get a good look at yourself with no urine stains on you. It'll be the last time. <laughs> okay, everyone seems to be doing quite well. I think that we can go ahead and add another 10 Sims to bring it up to 30. All right, we've got 10 more Sims, but straight up. This dude is my favorite guy of like all time. Look at him over here with his palm tree belly shirt. He's like, I'm socially competent. Oh, hey, I just noticed there's two toilets left. These ones right over here. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them there. Maybe the Sims will be like, perhaps one day they'll grow up into real toilets. Hey, LSD, how you doing? Yeah, I know you're an eccentric person. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Because you are. <laughs> I just noticed LSD has a friend. There's someone else here with the paranoid trait. What are they talking about? They're talking about how they're not going to survive for 72 hours. All right, Florida man is the very first person that has to use the bathroom, but will he be able to do it? Okay, he's got 25 minutes before he really has to pee. All he has to do is get all the way upstairs. You can't use these, Florida man. He was like, damn it. Just go upstairs. Okay, let me make sure that the Sims can legitimately get upstairs. They absolutely can. Look who's smart enough to use it. It's Tim Horton. Well, since Florida man probably won't survive for too much longer, I think that we should add 10 more Sims. I just realized that this was a person inside of another person, but it looked like this dude had a dyed green beard with red hair and it was awesome. What do you want to call this video? Ellis D contemplating her inevitable death. In this glorious video, a young woman realizes that she and everyone around her will probably die. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Everyone online will be like, human suffering, absolutely. I love Florida man's priorities. He's like, use the bathroom or play the piano. I guess I'll play the piano. I thought this guy's pants were covered in human blood, but I think that's just the pattern. I mean, it's the Sims, so it, it could be human blood. Florida man's like, what were you doing before you came here? And this dude's like murdering people. Apparently there's quite a few paranoid people in this house. Well, Florida man's going to have bladder failure in about 33 minutes. So I think that's a fantastic time to add 20 more Sims to make it 60. All these people got teleported in here and they all groaned at exactly the same time. I have a feeling they were like, where did I get teleported to? And then they see it's the gray still plays themselves. They're like, no. That's right, everyone. Single file to your death. Don't push. Three. And happy new year. Florida man just pissed himself right in front of the grill. If you're the first one to die here, you're never gonna live this down. He is absolutely the first person to urinate all over himself. Everyone else figured out how to use the one single bathroom except for him. Actually, maybe it was on purpose. He's probably like, I know how to get out of here ASAP. Spleens is over here. She's like, I can guard both staircases at once because her field of vision is like 270 degrees. You know that feeling when you're trying to talk to your friends online on the instant messaging system and your entire family is looming over your shoulder. This poor lady, she's crying while she's typing away. She's like, I lost two things coming here, the will to live and privacy. Someone's over here using the observatory. They're like, if you look closely, you can see the moment their soul leaves their body. Okay, everyone's still alive. This is good. That means that we're gonna move up to 80 people. You guys have really exceeded my expectations. If I can get 100 people before we even have the first death, it will blow my mind. Man, this is great. Glorious. It's like a house party, but a house party where everybody in the end goes to hell. This is like the most happen in place over here in this little dance corner. I have a feeling that this area is going to be littered with bodies by the end. This dude's over here. He's like, if there's one thing I love, it's telling jokes to myself in the mirror. You want to sleep in this little children's room? Angry llama's watching your ass. All right, we have our second person that urinated on themselves. And there it goes. And our first death is here. <laughs> And it is Florida man, and he will die in the pinkest of kitchens. Everyone's really sad except for Hillary Clinton. She's like, eh. To commemorate this monumental occasion of Florida man for the first time ever being the first sim to die in one of these challenges, we will go all the way up to 100 sims. That's right, get those last few tears in because you're gonna run out of them by the end of the night. I think this is gonna be one of those instances 
where death doesn't have any space to spawn on the map. And so the bodies are just going to stay here forever. This is also really bad for the Sims because they're all congregating in one little semicircle and they're all going to end up having to pee. On the plus side, there is a full liquor bar right over here. You can tell who my veteran Sims are. LSD's over here and she's like, oh, do I cry or do I have a cup of coffee? I'm gonna pick the coffee. Monday. 4 a.m. The Pity Concert is in full force right now. Whoa, how's it going there, Ned Flanders? How did you sneak your, your way into a Sims episode? Everyone is crying except for her. She's like, man, I'm kind of tired. All right, there's only a few puddles of urine, realistically. Oh, we're about to have a whole slew of bladder failures. It just hasn't loaded yet because of how many Sims there are. Where did you die from? This is like the one lady that's all the way far away from the rest of the group. There's no one here. Here. She died in the most random spot. All the rest of the Sims are sobbing uncontrollably in the dinner area, and this lady just dies all alone. Oh no. My favorite Sim just urinated all over himself. All right, we have another death. I don't know who it is because there's so many damn stuff on this wall. Again, it's just some other random dude that's way over here. That's right, madam. You won't have to die alone anymore. Poor Spleens. She's over here. She's like, I know you're all dropping like flies, but could someone please feed me? Now that the people are starting to disperse and die over here, you can see just how many puddles of urine have surrounded the entirety of the dining area. Oh, my boy's up here using the bathroom like a baller. Look at how smart you are. I probably shouldn't have to mention this, but does everyone notice the baby Yoda judging this guy in the background? All right, Elizabeth Clayton's going down underneath the staircase. I don't know how they managed to do this, but there's no urine piles by the dance area. I think the worst part about this area is everyone ends up sleeping in the urine. Claire Danes just woke up. She's like, why is my face wet? You ever wonder what happens when like 30 people congeal into one entity? All right, we've got more deaths going on, but Vivek or whatever his name is over here is still alive. I think the scariest thing about the dining area over here is that you can literally swim from the bar to the refrigerator because of how deep the urine puddles are. Okay, I thought sleeping in the puddle of urine was bad. This lady's actually sleeping in another lady's dead body. LSD, no, you came so far. Death did show up. I never thought you'd come here. There's already like 30 people dead on the ground though. You got your work cut out for you, man. You can tell he's over here. He's like, mother of God. He just peaced out without taking anyone with him. He's like, nope, some of these people can't even leave. They're trying to get to the bathroom, but there's like so many bodies they can't get out. That sucks. When you die inside of a bathroom that has no toilet and instead is filled with full liquor bars. Tim Horton's still alive. So there's about 20 or 30 people left. This is what the kitchen looks like at this point. <laughs> Tonsils is over here living off the scraps of the dead. Okay, this is pretty exciting. First off, this guy's still alive. But second off, Australian man is also still alive, as is Tim Horton. You can barely see him amongst all of the vomit and stench, but he's in there. I think what's particularly amazing here is that there's almost no place left for anyone to die. Okay, there's only a few people left. Somehow, Australian man and Tim Horton are still in here, as is Hillary Clinton. Vivek, no! God, no, he made it all the way to the end. And now he will slumber right next to someone else's puddle. There are four Sims left. Hillary Clinton, Tim Horton, Australian Man, and Claire Danes Loves Pudding. Who will be the last one to be victorious? Well, Claire Danes had a snob lesson and then it ended up killing her. All right, that leaves three. Now, unfortunately, these two can't actually move because they're surrounded by the dead. But Australian man can at least make it over here to this table where all these muffins are slowly mutating. Tim Horton bites it. You can see her total lack of expression as he slowly dies right in front of her feet. She is now legitimately covered in a pile of corpses. Okay, Spleens is trying to heal Australian man with the power of love. I just heard it. This is it, it's like a bull in a matador. They're both staring at each other fiercely. Who will be the one to survive? Australian man does have a few less corpses around him. The body of his best friend laying directly to his right. No! Australian man goes down and that means that the likeness of Hillary Clinton is the winner. No, wait, I was wrong. I forgot my pants is still alive. She's going upstairs. Wait, what just, 
What just happened? I forgot my pants went upstairs to die. And as such, in the giant massacre of bodies, that means that this is our winner. <laughs> she looks so happy. Well, we did it. We made a bunch of people live in a house with only one bathroom. And this is what it caused. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.